Hello, Dwight Norris of Fishing at Work. And today, I want to talk about something a little different than actual like fishing lures. We're going to talk about consistency. Consistency and what you do every day. What you do every day is what you build up in your body, in your mind, in your muscle memory to enable you to make things easier. When you work out every day, getting your workout done and the amount of effort that it takes to do it reduces. Why is that? Because your muscles remember, your mind remembers, and it is constantly trying to make things better, make things easier for your body to do it. The same thing happens with your mind. If you change your actions and what you do every day or really very often, you'll see that things will become easier. Um, just like what we're, what we're doing now, going out and getting your fishing done, you know, what you love to do will become easier. That first time, you're a little scared, you're a little worried, you don't know if you have everything you need, uh, you don't know if the fish are biting, you don't know if you should go to this place or that place, if you have options. There's a myriad of things to think about and worry about, but what you have to do is actually take action and do those first steps. Get your fishing tackle together. Say you're gonna go to this part of the water where, where we are now. Say you're going to work on your lily pad game. You're gonna get those jigs out, you're gonna get those worms, you're gonna try some new rigs, and you're gonna have your tackle ready, and you're gonna come out here. You're gonna not worry about what your boss is thinking or saying or your employees. You're gonna take your time that you have and use it effectively to do what you wanna do, which is fishing. Fishing at work is just uh, you know, a nomenclature. It's one way to do things. You can fish before, you can fish after, you can fish on holidays, you can fish on weekends. You can fish pretty much anywhere. The fish are here waiting. They're in the water, they're hungry, and they need somebody to entice them to bite. So that's what you should be doing. So with the concerns of consistency, if you, let's just say you do this once a week, you know, that is a form of consistency, but it's less than what's required to move quickly. If you start off by going every other day and doing this, you'll find that it may only take a month or less for your, your, your mind to make this an easier thing to do. There'll be less worries, be more consistent. People will see that you're doing something consistently. Oh, they're just going on their walk. Oh, they're just doing their thing, if you haven't told them anything. And consistency will mean that that's normal. And normalcy is what people get used to and it becomes, you know, something they forget about like let's say you show up to a uh, a trash dump and it reeks it stinks to high heaven but every time you go there consistently you'll notice even over time just waiting that your nose just nullifies it and the next thing you know it doesn't stink anymore then somebody else shows up and they're like holy crap it stinks here don't you smell that And you're like what are you talking about dude this happens all the time in people's houses Maybe they have something stinky in, in their place and they haven't found it. It's like a rat in a wall and they forget about it. Someone comes, comes by and like, your house stinks, man. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, that rat, we thought we was in the, in the wall. We just didn't decide to do that or, or anything. You know, it could be a smell. It can be like, you know, maybe your kid's toys all over the place. And you don't feel like cleaning them up and they're just everywhere. And the next thing you know, you've come very efficient at dodging them and stepping over them and it's just been nullified out of your mind. And people come over and like, wow, this place is a pigsty. It, it's the same thing with this. It's all the same, consistency, consistency, consistency. It's how you get better when you're doing a sport. It's how you get better when you're learning something in school. And it's the same thing if you wanna get out here and go fishing. You have to be consistent, you have to continue, and you have to make it a, a something that you actually force yourself to do. Just wanting to go fish isn't going to make you get out here in this lovely weather. You have to make that decision yourself. So, just wanted to let you know that it's possible if you just stay consistent. Alright, have a nice day and get out here and go fishing.